hi welcome back to rebecca's travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel welcome back to rebecca's lifestyle and today i am doing a vlog on travel news uk the latest five fantastic facts march 2001 uh, 20, sorry march 2021 part two so if you haven't um subscribed to my channel please subscribe and um, if you're new here it's the red and white subscription button plus uh, click the notification bell i upload at at least five times a week on both my travel and my lifestyle channel so let's jump right into it now number one according to the telegraph.co.uk says uh, bucking sore for spanish holidays after green corridor news britons are racing to book holidays in spain uh, this summer following uh, the announcement uh, that a green corridor could be set up for vaccinated people wow that's really interesting and Spain is absolutely a wonderful and a beautiful country I absolutely love it um, I've had some amazing holidays there so I can understand especially for people if they haven't had a, a vacation last year are queuing up or if you have had a vacation last year then uh, you and you still want a holiday this year then i can understand why people are queuing up so uh, to avoid disappointment um but um in my opinion um i would just be aware um that um the government um again may not open up um traveling in regards to um holidays um or just for essential essential travel um and um again we could uh, we could still go again if everything doesn't go right um according to plan uh, then we could still be um going back into lockdown so it is risky so unless you uh, can afford to move your holiday um to another date uh, like later on in the year or be prepared to um otherwise um you could be finding it difficult to get your money back um again number two the telegraph dot co dot uk um up to 90 percent of uk summer holiday options are sold out britons will find fewer than one in ten uk self-catering holiday options available across some operators this summer as the nation prepares to get out of lockdown so people are really booking self-catering options such as chalets caravans like apartments or um uh, uh, and other options so they are getting again booked up but again as i said with um going abroad um you may have to be prepared to change as with um going to europe or worldwide and um, again if we do go say unfortunately back into lockdown and um, in the summer again um then again you may have to be prepared to move your holiday uh, to either later on in the year or ne or next year or be prepared to try and get your uh, money back so um 
that's why I haven't booked anywhere yet. Um, I'm going to see uh, what's going to happen in, say, um, next month and at May time before I decide to book um, anywhere. And um, I'll be booking for later on this year, September, October time. Um, so hopefully I would have had my, my vaccination and so uh, number three, gov.uk global travel task force meets uh, to map out a safe return to international travel. Government meet uh, with the industry players to develop a, a safe and sustainable plan to restart international travel, which is really good news. Uh, fingers crossed it goes as well as possible. Number four, Spain's considering green corridor for British tourists. Um, Spain would introduce um, its own green corridor for vaccinated British holiday makers if there is no collective EU decision on vaccine passports. So, uh, which is really good news. And uh, last but not least, um, BreakingTravelNews.com at uh, say Princess Cruises at uh, Scrap International Summer Sailing from the UK. The Carnival owned line has cancelled sailing from Southampton um, for Prince uh, for, on Sky Princess, Royal Princess and Island Princess uh, through to September the 25th. Again, it's probably uh, for the best. Um, so again, uh, people, again, you would have to, if you have booked, um, move your holiday uh, to a different date um, or obviously try and get your money back. Um, so, it, it is a shame, I know, but um, hopefully if you do get your money back, then you could probably have a holiday later on in the year or again wait till next year. So I would like to say thanks for watching and um, please keep watching. Um, I've got uh, lots of playlists on my lifestyle and my travel channel um, and um, I'll see you tomorrow and I would like to say thank you for watching and bye for now thank you bye